Yeah, I'm just chilling back, man, relaxing, man, for a second, man. I don't sleep, man, but I got something I got to tell y'all, man. It's about your boy, Young Dolph. His homie, P.R.E., Big Moochie Great, man. I heard he done been robbed for his stuff a few times, man, and he just got robbed again, man. That's not holding Dolph down, man. And Dolph, man, man, out there, man, in Memphis, man, he... Oh man, he talking big game, man. But he he he's letting them take all this stuff, man. Like whoever deboing them is deboing them, man. And this is crazy, man. They taking the Dolph merchandise, man. Dolph, you know what I'm saying? And you know Dolph hit hard in those streets, man. He put a lot of people on. They put a lot of people in position, man. And placements and stuff, man. Without him, the city wouldn't even be what it is, man. And, for your boy to represent somebody that's like that and keep getting robbed is putting a bad image on the brand and on Dolph. And, you know, you rocking PRE chains and Dolph chains and all kind of stuff like that. You getting it taken away, man. That's that's putting a bad name on Dolph, man. And the respect on the brand, you're not upholding that, man. And, I mean, if it was life-threatening, of course, yeah, you're going to give it up, man. I mean, that's anybody with some sense, I mean. If, if you pulled up on me and you, you pulled that iron out, you could have everything. I mean, you can't get your life back, man. This ain't Super Mario where you got 99 lives or you got cat lives. Some people got cat lives, man. Some people can take them hits, man. Still be good, but I wouldn't even want to risk none of that, man. Like your health, your wealth. Uh, health is wealth, but, you know, I say wealth meaning walking, mobility, being able to move. You'll lose all that potentially, man. It's not worth it. But, man, they seen your boy Big Moochie Great and got hit up again, man. Y'all got to check this one out, man. Let me know what y'all think in the comments, man. Drop them comments down below, man. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe, man. I appreciate all y'all support, the love, everything, man. If there's anything that y'all like to see or, you know, in particular, let me know. I got y'all covered, man. You know, I'll let your boy, man. Stay blessed. You gotta get the video. Ooh, baby Jesus in there. Look at all them plugettis. See, man. Ooh, look what that got in it. Infinity Link. Pick you something nice. Shit here. Shit. Feel the weight, man. Tell them about the weight. Tell them hey, how man, we pick big dude, a kilo. Man. A kilo on a the charm. A kilo on the charm, man. 18 karat white gold. Kilo on the charm. Yeah, man. Big yeah. dude, baby. What's up? Rizza. Yes, sir. Let him see the back, man. Yeah, it's me. It ain't nobody else but me. <laughs> it's me, the P. You know, CMG, baby. You know, that's the brand. Oh, my fucking God, dog. Look at that. You see my, you see my chain swing? Yeah. You see my chain swing? Yeah. I see my chain on chain. Before his death, Young Dolph put P.R.E. in a position to dominate the rap game. P.R.E. aka Paper Route Empire was Dolph's record label. And before his death, Dolph made two important moves to secure the future of the brand. The first was signing Key Glock. The second was Big Moochie Gray. Both of which have been on an insane run. Key Glock's been on a string of top tier singles. And Moochie released an album last year that featured only currently incarcerated artists. Hard. Fuck how they niggas, they never been found. Working is one of my favorites off his latest project. Luckily, they released an official music video to it as well. Rank it 1 through 10 down in the comments. Uh, y'all nigga back in the trap and don't work. Walk up in Gucci, give a fuck about a price tag. You know what, y'all? Hey, what it is, man? It's your dog, School Because, and I'm back with another one. My dog, Moochie uh -huh. Great, free. Uh -huh. Ain't no more free, Moochie Great. And we in here. Check this out. And I'm finna say, I'm finna take my boy. First, I'm gonna start out with the Elanas. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna clean the size up. Just like that, right there. And then I'm gonna go ahead and start to begin with the taper fade with my liners. 
You know what I'm saying? Just like that. And then I'ma go on to the back. I'ma clean the back up. Make sure he good. Clean back there. So I can begin to uh, fade him in the back also. So wham. Y'all see how I did that. Got him faded, lined up, and all in the back. Then I'ma go to the sides. And I'ma do the same thing. You know what I'm saying? I'ma go ahead and tape him with my faders, my clippers, and get him good and right. No guards, y'all see. I barely use guards, but um, he's good and blended, good and faded. Then I'm going to get on that line. I'm going to start to line him up, make sure he's good and right, good and crispy on each side and everything. And then, voila, just like that, straight, you got him. A Scooby cut, man. Cause that's just what I do, man. Tap in with me. Holla let me scoop. Last time that you was here, man, we know we did our first interview. The interview was epic as fuck, by the way, man. It should still be going up. People be commenting on it, man. We ain't get to talk about Big Scar. Um, I know, you know, you was close to Scar. So um, just talk about keeping his name alive. And I know he had recently put out a project. Yeah, yeah. Long live Scar. Uh, you know, me and bruh been together way before rap. Like, bruh been around me since he was a young nigga, like. We been there, like we been stuck together for a long time, you know what I'm saying? Like his mom and his daddy, like my mom and daddy, like we all like family time, like they been my nigga like way before rap, way before anything. Like me and bro really was doing shit together, like yeah, it's my little nigga. Uh, yeah, I know it's a lot of shit with Scar, like his music was leaking like that too. Especially with your shit with you, Fizzle. Man, Scar should stay in leak, man. I think they would, man. I think that. This just because bro was like, it was too many people getting a hold to your songs and shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, I learned my lesson about that too, you hear me? For real. Cause this one song that I got, I'm trying to big maze. I'm trying to song will be so major when it come out. I know about seven people got that motherfucker. One day I'm in, I'm in the club. Bro was like, man, you want me to play a song? Ooh, play a song? I'm like, yeah, go ahead. And he played this song. I'm like, what the fuck? Like, where you get this song from? I'm ready to take a nigga phone and delete that motherfucker about it. <laughs> For real. I ain't gonna lie. Hell yeah, no. But. Yeah, cause I don't... He ain't got leaked yet, so I, I thank God for that. But yes, bro, I don't need that motherfucker get leaked. They did that on Dust Town Lee. Yep, I remember that shit, yep. I stayed on that shit. Yeah. I, I feel like they don't realize that that could be fucking up your money too. Cause if you can't drop that song cause it gets leaked, that shit gone for it, man. Yeah, that shit weakened. So for no more, did like you, Scar and Glock all get in the studio for that or how oh, yeah, that we was in the studio for that. Yeah. Sure. I remember that day. Everybody was a lot of us in the studio too. Hmm. Yo. How long you been sitting on that shit? Right, about a year. Yeah, not two years. Yeah. Probably longer than that. Hmm. It's been a minute. Yeah. Uh, this could be for both of y'all, but like, talk about Scar, like, you guys' relationship and everything, too. Shit, nigga, brother, man, you feel me? For real. Like, bro, been around me since he was like 13, 14, 15 type shit. Like, his mama, like, I go over his mama's house, she yeah, cooking over my mooch and my son. His dad is the yeah. same way. Like, yeah, I met mean, Scar through uh, Moose. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I put him down Grape Street in the head, like, this my little nigga. Like, hmm. yeah. yeah. I feel like his potential was so high for this shit, too. But, he was but, lyrical. Oh, yeah. I just, I say he the best, he was the best on, you know what I'm saying, over there on that side, on 10, 17. Yeah. Um, you know. I don't let the song me and Brooke had this minute come out. Like, the song I got on my tongue, on my yeah. tape, it's hard as fuck. What's it called? Uh, Tropical Harder. Okay. How long you been sitting on that one then? Damn near three years. Oh shit. No, no, it's two. It's two, two and a half. Yeah. Two and some shine on that. Nah, I matter of fact, we did this song before I went to jail, so it probably like, probably two years, right, like right in two years. Okay. Cause right before I went to jail, he was with me every day. For real? Yeah. Oh, I used to send my driver to go pick him up. Like, you in jail when Brad came? Yeah, I was in jail when he died. Oh, damn. Uh, he died when it like December twenty sixth. So, so like remember you trying to piss. Yeah, I was in jail. Yeah, long live the reaper, man. Absolutely, man. Yeah.